Hi, I'm Chaplain Byron Denman, and this is Chats with the Chaplain. A few days back, I told you about the bear that stood on the top of our fence and managed not to break it in any way, and how we startled him off. And as he left, he collapsed somebody else's fence, broke it in several different ways. But we talked about what it took to provide adequate support for the significantly weighty issues in our lives. Well, today I'm going to talk about that same bear. The very next night that we had trash in our trash can, that bear came back. And because we live where we do, we have a requirement, according to the city code, I think, to put clamps on our trash can. And even though our clamps have done the trick over and over and over again, this bear decided that the Chipotle trash that was in our outside trash can was worth his additional effort. So as we came out in the morning, my wife went to drop off kids at school and she came back and said, hey, did you notice that the trash can was, was torn open? And I thought, man, no way, there, there were clamps on it. But sure enough, we have teeth marks in the lid of our trash can and we have paw prints smearing mud and and doing all kinds of damage to the side of the trash can and we will probably end up paying for it I guess but the clamps were on it and that bear just wanted that Chipotle trash so badly that he snuck around in the middle of the night long enough to tear up the lid of our trash can making the clamps completely invalid and I guess he got what he wanted because he licked all those trash bowls clean. There are times when there are restrictions put in front of us. There are things that we, we can't quite do because of the situation. And there are reasons for those restrictions most of the time. We try not to feed the bears because it's not healthy for them to learn to live based on human trash. Right? They need to continue to be as wild as possible for the bears to continue, for them to sustain their population. And so what we do with the clamps is protection for them. But sometimes they consider it worth the risk to get past that. For each one of us, as we face challenges in our lives, as there seems to be a clamp on our situation that keeps us from moving forward or reaching a goal, we need to realize when we have to overcome that and when we have to learn to respect that. And that's a difficult decision to make sometimes. But I promise you this, if you ever pry my trash can open with your mouth, I'll let you eat whatever's in there. I'm Chaplain Byron Denman, and overcome some clamps, but let the others do their jobs.